Hello, I'm Jimeni Vagón. I'm a master's student at the State Monogastric Nutrition Laboratory at the University of Illinois, and today I'm privileged to share with you data from one of the experiments we conduct on digestibility of energy, protein, fat, dry matter, and concentration of metabolizable energy in sunflower meal and sunflower expellers fed to growing pigs. To give a background about sunflower production in the 2021 and 2022 crop year, 57.26 million metric tons of sunflower seed were produced in the world. The most prominent producers were Ukraine, Russia, and the European Union with countries as Italy, Hungary, Bulgaria, and a round of 76% of the world's sunflower production is concentrated in those countries. Approximately 80% of all sunflower seed were crushed to produce sunflower oil for human consumption and sunflower meal. Sunflower meal is one of the most important co-products of sunflower seeds, and it has been used as a good alternative source of amino acids for poultry and swine. However, even if we know that sunflower meal has a high content of protein, the nutritive value and quality of the meal may vary due to the variation in cultivation methods, place of growing, and difference in the oil extraction process depending on the crushing plants. All seeds before being crushed for the oil extraction process undergo a process called the dehulling process, which consists in the removal of the hull, partially or total, from the seeds and this is a very important step because it affects the final quality of the meal because of the high fiber content on those holes. And in some crushing plants, those holes are added back to the meal at the end of the oil extraction process, increasing the fiber in the final product. There are two important oil extraction processes that I'm going to explain briefly. The first method is the expeller process, which consists in the crushing of the seeds for the obtention of the oil. The second oil extraction method is the solvent extraction process, which follows the expeller pressing process, but to this process, the solvent extractor is added. This is to increase the obtention of oil from the meal. In some crushing plants, the oil is degummed, and those gums are put back in the meal. And for that reason, content of oil may change from 1 to 10% in the different sunflower co-products. Indeed, data demonstrate that the standardized ileal digestibility of crude protein and amino acids is dependent on the extraction process of sunflower co-products when fed to pigs. Likewise, it has been demonstrated that the presence of high content of fiber in diets decrease the metabolizable energy and as well as the digestibility of energy and nutrients in growing pigs, which is very important because of the content of fiber in the sunflower co-products. But it is still unknown if there are differences in the apparent total tract digestibility of nutrients and in the concentration of digestible energy or metabolizable energy in sunflower co-products. Therefore, the objective of this experiment was to test the null hypothesis that there are no differences in the apparent total tract digestibility of gross energy, crude protein, and fat, or in the metabolizable energy concentration among sources of sunflower co-products. Now, let's move on to the materials and methods that we used to conduct this experiment. We had a randomized complete block design with eight diets, four blocks, and eight replicates per diet. As an experimental unit, we had 64 growing pigs with an initial body weight of 31 kilo approximately, and for the sample collection, those animals were housed individually in metabolic crates where we had seven days of adaptation to the diet and five days of urine and fecal collection using the marker to marker approach. So now I would like to quickly explain to you the diets that we use for this experiment. We have eight diets. One of those was a corn-based basal diet and seven sunflower meal-based diets. We had the sunflower meal from four different regions of origin. We received two sunflower meals from the United States, two from Ukraine, one from Hungary, one from Italy, and the sunflower expeller was received from the United States. With that, 
We formulate seven diets using each source of sunflower product and corn, and a controlled diet containing only corn to complete a diet in total. Those pigs were fed at three times their maintenance requirement. For the statistical analysis, we use the mixed procedure of SAS and we use two models. For the first model, we had as a fixed effect the sunflower sources and blocked the an animal as a random effect. We use multiple comparison for separation of the means and for the second model, to compare the sunflower expeller with the sunflower meal sources, we use a counter statement with sunflower co-products as a fixed effect and block an animal as a random effect. So let's move on to the results. And uh, I want to start by talking about some nutritional characteristics. But before to start, I would like to set up my slides. As you can see, for sunflower meal sources, we have in light and dark blue sources from United States. In yellow and orange, we have sources from Ukraine. And in light and dark gray, we have sources from Hungary and Italy, respectively. And finally, in the right side of the slide, we can find the sunflower expeller in green. So to begin with, I would like to look at acid hydrolyzed ether extract and we observe big difference in terms of fat content among sunflower sources. It could be attributed to the addition of gums during the oil extraction process to the meal by the end of the process, resulting in the increase of oil concentration. Likewise, we can see a big difference in the concentration of fat in the sunflower expeller compared with sunflower meal sources and it is due to the absence of the solvent extraction step in the oil extraction process. For gross energy, we observe an average of 4,200 kcals per kilogram in sunflower meal sources, but for sunflower expeller, we observe a greater concentration of energy, and it is because there is a positive correlation between energy and fat. So if we look at total dietary fiber, for this slide I have in the straight part of the columns the soluble dietary fiber and in the solid part of the column the insoluble dietary fiber. Variations in content of fiber could be possible because of the dehauling process. However, we can observe that sunflower expeller has high concentration of insoluble dietary fiber as well, even more than some of the sunflower meal sources. In addition, this is reflected in the concentration of crude protein. We can see the negative correlation between fiber and protein in this slide. And some of the sunflower meal sources with high concentration of fiber have lower concentration of protein, including the sunflower expeller. And it is because higher concentration of fiber in the diet may release lower concentrations of crude protein. Moving on to the results of digestibility of nutrients, we observed a statistical difference between digestibility of dry matter among sunflower meal sources, and we had a statistical difference between sunflower meal and sunflower expeller, where the sunflower expeller had a lower digestibility of dry matter. On digestibility of gross energy, we observe a statistical difference in the sunflower meal sources, where one source of the United States and the Italy source had lower digestibility of energy, possibly because of the content of fiber on those sources. And we observe a statistical difference between sunflower meal and sunflower expeller, and it can have the same reason, high content of fiber that is reflected in the digestibility of energy. Moving into upper and total tract digestibility of fat, as expected, we observed that those sources with more content of fat had a greater digestibility of fat, and the sunflower expeller had a greater digestibility of fat than the sunflower meal sources. For the digestibility of crude protein, we did not observe any difference among sunflower meal sources, and it could be probably because of the variation in nutrients but we observed a statistical difference between sunflower meal and sunflower expeller where the sunflower expeller had a lower digestibility of crude protein in the sunflower meal sources. Let's talk about digestible and metabolizable energy. For digestible energy, we did not have a difference between sunflower meal and sunflower expeller, but we had a statistical difference among sunflower meal sources and those sources with lower content of insoluble dietary fiber had a greater values of digestible energy. And for the metabolizable energy, almost same story. 
lower contents of fiber reflects a better metabolizable energy than the other sources of sunflower meal. And there is no difference between sunflower meal and sunflower expeller in terms of metabolizable energy. With that, we came up with some conclusions. The first one is that nutritional composition varies among sunflower co-products, possibly because of the extraction process. We observe only minor impact of region on the digestibility of energy and nutrients among sunflower meal sources. And we observe as well that the digestibility of energy in sunflower meal was greater than the sunflower expeller. And our final conclusion was that there is no difference in the digestible energy and metabolizable energy between sunflower meal and sunflower expeller. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation on digestibility of energy in sunflower meal and sunflower expellers when fed to growing pigs. And if you'd like to know more about the research conducted in the Hans H. Stein Monogastric Nutrition Laboratory, please check out nutrition.nsi.illinois.edu.